Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we are going to play around with another Arduino project. Previously, we have been building an autonomous robot, but there are no ways to control it. Today, we are looking at a relatively cheap Arduino robot which you can control using your mobile phone. If you are interested to purchase the kit, you can check out the link below. Let's have a look at the breakdown of the parts. On top of the picture are the legs of the robot. The first item on the second row are the servos that are used to move the legs. On the right is the body of the robot which houses the MCU board and the battery. Next on the right are the shell that are used to cover the body. On the third row, we have the data transfer cable in white and the battery charger cable in black. The data transfer cable is used to upload the Arduino code into the MCU board. Now, let's start with the assembly process. First of all, if you are purchasing a battery, ensure that it is small enough to fit inside the MCU board. Next, we are going to fit in the fourth servo. Refer to the red arrows in the diagram provided by the OEM for alignment of the servos. The protruding part on top of the servo should be pointed towards each other. The robot will not be able to walk properly if you do not align it properly. Fit the two screws onto each of the servos. Next, plug in the servo wires into the MCU board. Make sure that the orange cables are facing towards the MCU board. Next, we are going to reset the servo position. Ensure that the battery is fully charged before doing this. Switch on the battery. If the servo arm is not in the same position as the blue arrow in the diagram, remove the servo arm and reinstall. Next, we are going to install the other four servos onto the robot. First, position the servos correctly and install the other legs using the two screw providers each. Next, we are going to reset the position for these four servos. Connect the servo cable onto the MCU board. Ensure the orange cable is facing towards the MCU board. Switch on the power and check the position of the servo arm. If the servo arm is in the incorrect position, Remove the arm and reposition.
Lastly, for the leg portion, we are going to fit on the elbow joint. There are two different set of elbow joints for the left and right legs. There are specially cut rules on the elbow joint for the servo arms. Choose the correct elbow joint based on this. No screws are required for this process. When everything is in place, cover up the body using a casing provider. Both the top and bottom cover you each require 4 small screws provided. Lastly, place the two eyes onto the capacitor. Use the transfer cable to upload Arduino code into the robot. The code is provided in the link below. Switch on the Wi-Fi on your mobile phone and choose Robot. Open up Chrome and type in 192.168.4.1. Then you can go into the mobile interface of the robot. There are a total of 15 different actions that you can choose from. Have fun! Don't forget to like this video if you find it interesting. Leave a comment below for future video ideas. Thank you!